And the crash that was connected to the shooting is also still under investigation tonight. It happened at the intersection of Gainesboro Road and Orange Avenue as a Roanoke City police officer was headed to the scene. Several people were taken to the hospital, but all are expected to be okay. Having said that, 10 News reporter Coulter Anstead is at that intersection this afternoon. Coulter, you spoke to a local emergency vehicle instructor today. What did you learn? Well, John, I learned that even when uh, an officer does everything right, something like what happened yesterday can still happen. The Roanoke police officer involved in the accident reportedly hit a car here at the intersection, then bounced off and hit two other cars. For law enforcement officers, responding to a call can be a tense situation. When we're running lights and siren or responding to an emergency, there's a lot of things going on. We're our adrenaline is ramped up because we're listening to what's going on. That's why motorists need to be aware of emergency vehicles, something Martinsville Police Department Lieutenant Lane Clark emphasizes. He's been an emergency vehicle instructor with the department for about 10 years. One thing that helps is knowing how to react. If there's a way for the citizen to kind of move over to give us a little bit of room, we would certainly appreciate that. Um, what we don't necessarily want them doing is to pull out into the intersection because that may cause an accident. If you're headed towards an intersection and you see an officer coming with their lights and sirens on, don't come to a sudden stop. Probably the worst thing you can do is just come to a complete stop suddenly because there may be an officer behind you that's uh, running lights and siren going to an emergency and we're scanning the, the scene to see what's going on. We're scanning the intersection when a car abruptly stops in front of us. And people do that and we understand that. Uh, but we've got to have, we've got to be able to react to that too while also scanning the intersection to make sure we can proceed through that safely. If you do pull over, pull over to the right or pull into a turn lane if possible. Simple steps that could help save your car from an accident and help officers save lives. Today I was able to get some numbers on crashes from the Roanoke Police Department. I'll have that coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. For now, though, live in Roanoke, Colter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.